cannot see the type of child you have in this house. Mm -hmm. You better go outside there and search for her. You people keep teasing me all the time in this house. Mm -hmm. Wait. I cannot continue to give the same advice to this child, Vanessa. Wait till she comes. I will show her the back of me. Papa Vanessa, you and I know that it is not my fault. I make sure that I give her a piece of advice before she leaves this house for school. So why are you blaming me now? Oh, give me just one reason. One, that I should not blame you. You are talking now as if Vanessa is not your daughter. Ah. <laughs> oh, am I supposed to develop wings and to fly? Because Vanessa is my daughter. See, uh -huh. it's getting up to midnight and she's not here. And if I don't see her in the morning, I will put all the blames on you. And everything that happens, you will be responsible. You will see. All that you make, make one you can. This girl will not keep me in this household. This girl will not keep me in this house. Is it because we've given her a blind eye that she takes like an opportunity to go out of this house and come back late at night? Anyway, let me call her. A line is not going through. Eh. Telling me there is certainly another reason why you are coming late in this house. Mom, like I said, there's nothing to worry about. If you say so, then let this never repeat itself again. Thanks, Mom. Like I said, it will never repeat itself again. I promise. Oh, something is certainly wrong with this child. From the way you walk, just now I have seen blood on your skin. What is wrong? Did someone beat you? 
Mommy. Talk to me. Vanessa, talk to me. I'm your mother. What is wrong? What happened? I was. <laughs> Mama was raped. What? <laughs> How? What happened? <laughs> Mom. Mama, come. I want to hear you. I never call. I make now. So come for him. No, leave me alone. What's your problem? Come for him. Controlling her, nothing, and you are blaming me. 
and you, Vanessa. No one gives birth to a child in this house. As your elder sister. Dad, I'm sorry. Be sorry for yourself. Huh? Mm? Ah, what is all this? Vanessa, you cannot give birth to a rapist child in this house. What? <laughs> See, you have to get rid of that thing. Mom, I can't do that. It will only destroy your future, my daughter. I can't do that. You have no choice. Not in this house. I can't do that. <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa, get up. Mom. It is not bitter, eh? Yeah. Let me get you a measuring cup. Me. Take this. Mom must be joking now. <laughs> I can't. She's joking. Let me take this thing. No, I can't. No, I can't abort. I do already. Vanessa, this... where is this girl? Hey, my from out that window. You are afraid to, to you are afraid of mixing, eh? But you go around sleeping with men like as you like. You come back in this house and meet me, stupid girl. Spoken with uh, Vanessa's friends again. I have. Uh, I've asked all her friends, but they say they don't know her whereabouts. So, woman, woman, mm. have you seen what you have done? Have you seen what you have caused? You have just forced our daughter into thin air like this, close to three good years. We have not seen our daughter. I have not seen my daughter. Oh. Papa Vanessa, you are at fault, just like me. We both raised Vanessa. Eh? Would you propose the abortion thing to her? Eh? You did it. Oh. You said she cannot give birth in this house. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do now, Papa Vanessa? But I did not mean it. It was out of anger. Eh? It was out of anger and I was confused, you know? Hmm? I did not mean what I was saying. I only spoke out of anger. Eh? It was anger that made me do speak like that. Yeah. Thank you, Plenty. Thank, Thank you. Wow. Bad. Yes, mom. Baby. Yeah. Ah, Vanessa, you're welcome. Oh. Thank you, mama. Dad. Vanessa. Yes, where? Where have you been? Ah, Vanessa, me. where have Dad, you been? Dad. After a long time. A long time there. Oh, wow, wow, you are welcome. Thank you. Wow. Oh, thank you. Huh? Vanessa. Oh, my daughter. Hi. Hi. It is good. You are back. Yeah. 
So, that day, when I left them, they only place a third of us, Evangelist Hansen's house. So, I went explain my situation to him. He prayed with me and he insisted on coming back with me home. And so I refused because I know the moment I come back home with him, you people were going to insist on the abortion. So I begged him to take me far away from here. And he called one of his sisters that works with an NGO that fights against rape. And the sister accepted and asked for me to come over to Yaoundé. <sighs> I'm sorry, my dear. I'm sorry for what I did. It's okay, Dad. I've learned a lot from the organization. That's the NGO. I've learned a lot. Now I work with them to help others fight against uh, the rape, the very situation that I was in. The only thing you did was to blame me for being raped. The fact that I was out there in the night was not a call for them to rape me. I'm sorry, my daughter. Sorry, forgive me. Stop blaming your children when they are raped. But in effect, look for the rapists and give them their due punishment. Abortion is not the solution to unwanted pregnancy. Look at my beautiful daughter now. Baby, what is her name again? Her name is Joy. I call her Joy because she wiped away all my tears. Joy. Joy. Hey, joy. Joy, joy. 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 Hey, young girl, she was clean. Perfect, she was beautiful. But evil, her right. I took what she was calling bright. Daddy was so scary. Mommy was so prayerful, but she went for school. On her way back, she was pray bamboos. Now you don't know why did you so have no end? Why did you feel when you are forced? I refuse when you lose your pride. Now you don't know why did you so have no end? Why did you feel when you are forced? I refuse when you lose your pride.